We're here at the Maylene Creek Storage Facility. This is one of MSD's three major tunnel projects currently under construction in MSD's Project Clear. This is the first underground storage facility being constructed under MSD Project Clear. The goal of this tunnel is to ultimately reduce the volume of discharge into Maylene Creek and ultimately into the Mississippi River. The storage tunnel will run along Riverview Drive from Chain of Rocks Drive to Church Road at around 150 feet below the ground surface and bedrock. Our focus today is to show you a technique called drilling and blasting and how it causes minimal disruption to the surrounding community. Drilling and blasting technique is a controlled use of explosives to break out the rock from excavation. Of course, in any project using these types of materials, there are a lot of people involved and safety measures in place to make sure that everything is being handled correctly and safely for all workers involved, as well as everyone in the community. This technique also cuts down on the risk of damage to structures and utilities in and around the construction site, which is what we want to show you today. So we've set up cameras and gear throughout the site to capture the blast and to see what happens. The basic procedure includes drilling holes into the rock and then filling those holes with explosives. But before anything can be detonated, there are a lot of other elements that go into this including safety protocols. The team uses several different seismograph monitors placed throughout the area. They have one placed at 130 feet from the blast site, another 160 feet, and others at 170, 260, and 370 feet. Keep in mind, for this project, these are the distances that were selected to get an accurate reading. Other projects that use this technique may place the monitors at different distances. The data from the monitors are collected and reviewed immediately to help control vibrations and air blasts. Basically, anything that could damage a structure or utility in the area. The team also uses trusses and large rubber mats to cover the shaft during the blast to control potential flying rock. The surrounding area is closed off to any traffic and pedestrians. The crew is also positioned in a safe distance during the blast. Okay, all the prep work is done out here now, so let's see what happens when we detonate the blast. As you can see, there was more noise from Shane yelling fire in the hole than from the actual blast itself. To put this blast in perspective, take a look at this graph. As you can see, a city bus driving by has more vibration than what just took place moments ago. So now that the blasting is done, what have we learned? We've learned that drill and blasting technique causes very minimal disruption to the community's daily activities. We've also learned that when the right precautions are taken, there's no property damage. 